guys. We had a male leopard r running into this, this sighting and then he's here. But we've got a feeling that this is not uh, Embula. Let me just update the guys on the radio. Yeah, Taxi's uh, just laying down. He's not um, up by the bumba, but he's just on the bushes now. Thank you. Tags, 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 you copy? Oh, the hyenas up, so they can clearly smell the leopard and they know something's up. Yeah, affirmative. He's not uh, on the bamba, but uh, he's just lying around here. I just have a feeling this is another Madonna. Alright, that out of the way. So you see how quickly those sleepy hyenas got up. They know something's up. They know somebody else is here. I'm just going to avoid moving for now. I know the visual is not great just because we have, we have different... Um, scenarios that could play out here so I just want to give them a bit of space until they all feel a bit more comfortable moving around you see so how's this we did we came out expecting to see hopefully a bull on a kill this morning we ended up with a carcass up a tree two hyenas and potentially a different leopard um, whenever you guys manage, because I know you're very good at IDing the, all of the leopards around this area, just let me know which guy this is so we can try to piece together all the pieces of our puzzle and see what's actually been happening throughout the night. I think it was quite an active night for, for anything, for everything actually. Well, we've got Shangili on the one side with the hyenas and now we've got another male leopard with more hyenas. So I reckon not everyone went to bed early last night. I think he's just hiding in there now. Yeah. So you guys have a feeling it is Tingana and so do we. Um, he doesn't, he seemed to be a bit younger but again like we said he was just running back to the kill and then the hyenas started moving so he quickly laid down and that's where he's been for the last few minutes. So I'm sure at some point he's gonna start moving again. We just gotta give him a bit of time to do that. Nice, maybe do you think if we go forward? Okay, we're gonna try going a bit forward. See who we can see around here. All right, that's a bit better there. I don't know if, uh, maybe if I'm gonna try going back for its face. So you see, he's not sleeping, he's very actively looking at the hyenas that are just in the direction of the carcass, where it's the direction where his head is pointing. But again, look out how incredible his camouflage is. You could barely see him. I mean, I think he did come from the road, but um, just as he walked off the road and into this area, it's so hard to see him. The grass looks very much like the color of his skin. All of these spots break his body shape. So it's a bit... So he's relying on pretty much all of that. Look at those ears. Let's see, the ears are looking quite good. I do think this could be Tingana and not our good friend Mbula. Tingana was left, however, last night walking north from where he was just last seen. So I wouldn't be surprised if he came on his territorial patrol and then just bumped into Mbula or bumped into this site. But how is that for a surprise? Oh, somebody's getting comfy. Crystal, you've even managed to identify the hyena we were looking at, Corky. So we've got Tingana and Corky on site, which is always good to know. And I uh, wonder how this is going to play. Because I can't see Corky anymore. She seems to have gone back down and Tingana is definitely moving there. You can see that tail moving in the grass. So it's always a good indication that they're thinking about something, they're plotting about something. 
It'll be interesting. He could also be quite wary, not only because he knows that the leper, um, sorry, that the hyenas are here, but that there is a kill that he hasn't made that belongs to somebody else. So he doesn't know if there's another male around, if Mbula will come back, or what's actually happening. So he's got a, like we were discussing earlier, they are solitary animals. So they can't rely on anyone but themselves to actually look um, after all of the environment and everything that's around. Just gotten into a tricky spot now. 